This is my vulture assessment. I'm Samantha Rawson um, and this is Jess um, who is my client for today. So we're going to begin with, this is her workout, um, we're going to begin with doing a jog just around the um, tennis courts to warm up. So, here you go. Yep. So um, Jess is a beginning exerciser um, and her main goals are fitness and weight loss. Um, and so all of the exercises we've got here are based around that. She's doing a circuit system. We will only be showing uh, one set of the exercises just for sake of brevity with the video. Um, but we'll do the others later. So she's just going around the tennis courts. Just making sure that she's nice and warm. Okay, we're going to do, um, we would normally do 30 seconds, but we're going to, see, nice and warm. <laughs> um, so we're going to do butt kicks first. Yep, so just, yep. Okay, and then we're going to switch to high knees, so it's the same, but up, and just making sure that all of our... Okay, and arm circles, so... <laughs> then backwards. Five, other arm. You'll do both ways, so whichever <laughs> order you do first is. And then backwards. Okay, yep. Um, I'm going to just demonstrate the squat variation that we're going to do. So I love doing squats with the band, especially for people who are starting off. Um, a lot of people, their knees cave in, um, especially when they're beginning. So the band means that you can't do that because otherwise the band falls off. So you just um, put the band just above your knees. Um, knees slightly wider than your hips. And then down. And we're going backwards with our butt. We're not kind of going forwards with our knees. So we're going to do eight reps. If it's a bit tangled, that doesn't matter. It's just to kind of make sure that you're... Go backwards a bit more with your butt, sit back. So it, when you're going down, sit backwards. So you've got to think your weight's going through your heels, not your toes. You should be able to like lift your toes off the ground, almost. Yeah, try again. Five, remember sitting back, six, seven, eight, awesome, good work. So the next thing that we're going to do is a push up which we're going to have over here. Um, we are using an elevated surface because we're building up upper body strength. So I'll demonstrate for okay. Yep, keep your body straight. 
two. Good job. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Awesome job. And that was just about the right level because by the end she's um, feeling it a bit. Um, but she was able to do those reps with good form. Um, for a beginner, um, the last one was starting to break down. So, yeah. Um, I'm going to show the next exercise. We are sitting with our legs out and the band is going around our feet. We're then pulling towards our stomach. Now, the important bit of this exercise is your back. You're not using your arms. It's not an arm movement. Your arms are the accessory. They're just kind of along for the ride. You're squeezing back and down with your shoulder blades. strong. Yep. Okay, try not rocking as much. Yep. So you can see that she's using her back muscles. And one more. Our next exercise is going to be a deadlift variation. It's one of my favorites, which is the, or without a kettlebell in this case. So it's a really good, a lot of people have one side stronger than the other. Um, and I accept there should be no exception. Um, so doing something on one leg or one arm means that you really work the other side of the leg. It's really important. will feel awkward the first few reps. This leg can have a knee can have a slight bend, it doesn't need to be like super straight. Um, and we're just focusing on you should feel it in your hamstring. Yeah. So yep. It, it, either leg, yep. Yep, and then come back up. Three. So you're not raising this leg. No. It's your bending down and this leg just kind of, yep, that's better. So remember not, that, that leg's just kind of yeah. there. Yep. Okay, and switch sides. That's better. This side's already, like this side's stronger. Okay, we're going to move on to some other exercises and we're going to go back over to our makeshift weights. So we're going to do a shoulder press and an upright row. So I'll just demonstrate. We've got our makeshift weights. Now, for this particular variation, 
our legs and our whole body, body um, that's a really great variation and I'll get just to do that another time because it does use a lot more muscles but just because especially this is a first session for her we're working Job. That's five, so we're going to go to eight, six, seven, eight. Now we're going to do a row. So we Okay, um, make your back a bit flatter, so you've kind of got a bit of a curve, even like just think that you're sticking your butt out, seems a bit, bit weird, but it does actually, does work, yeah, that is actually better, so it doesn't matter as much for this, but if you have later on bigger weights, if your back is curved, you can do a lot of, perfect. Okay, we're going to do our last leg exercise and then move on to the core section. So we're just going to do some walking lunges. So um, I'll hand over. We're going to go along the line. Um, and put on either kind of side. Um, and not going in a tight row. Um, that's a lot harder to balance. So we're just kind of going to either side. So you want to just be having your knee touch in the ground. Don't smash it in because that will hurt. Perhaps speak from experience. Um, yeah, so even um, just if you're getting there and you're feeling like you lack some level of control there, then stop where you because it will hurt if you push into the ground. Make sure your other leg is on, no, on either side. So your tight rope. No, no, no. So. Oh yeah. Yep. 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 Eight. Um, yep. When you're doing that, you can make sure your legs are a little bit further apart, so you're getting a little bit crossing, and that's one of the factors that's affecting your balance with that. Yeah. Um, so that's one way to make it easier. Yeah. So the next exercise we're going to do is a um, our core section. So we would normally run through that all um, three times. Um, and that before moving on to the core section, but here we are, we're going to move on. So our first core exercise is a um, sit-up variation. So we're going like this. We're also going like this. So this, that, 
too challenging. Um, then you want to just be concentrating on the legs. it a little bit higher up then that'll make it a little bit less in your core. Yep. Yep. And another eight. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Our next exercise is going to be a plank. I'm going to get Jess to do a knee plank. So um, I will also demonstrate. I'll demonstrate both the variations that we're going to do. One knee plank, so knees on the ground. So um, and then you'll just bring the hips slightly forward, um, just so that you can um, make sure you're getting your core working. So you should feel it in your core. Um, just later on you'll be able to do that. So the other variation we're going to do is the side one. So we're going to put this knee is down. We're just raising the hip. Um, and we're going to do 30 seconds. We'll aim to do 30 seconds on the first one and then 15 on each side. Yep. Um, put your hips up a little bit. Okay, you um, put your knees down. Yep. Okay, so she's beginning to shake. And we're going to stop it there, just short of the 30 seconds. Um, and then we're going to go on to the sides. So, yep. One arm knee and then just your hip just raise your hip and your knee should still stay yep uh -huh. yep can you take your other yep okay and we're going to switch sides And then when you're ready, just switch. Yep. Okay. Um, and we're just going to finish with a cool down. I'm going to get Jess to do another jog um, just around the tennis courts, and then we're going to finish with some stretching. Um, yeah. So she's still getting warmer. Stop. Yep. <coughs> so, um, and like I said earlier, we would be um, normally going through this three times in um, different sections. So we'd do the um, the main part of the circuit training, so the um, push ball legs kind of section, um, all three times, and then we'd be moving on to the core, and we'd do that section three times before moving then on to um, the cool down, which we're doing now. So. So the exercises were chosen for Jess because a lot of them involve a lot of the whole body um, and the circuit style really helps with making sure the whole body is working through the whole thing. So we're going to do a hamstring stretch. So just seeing how far, however far you can and you can do both arms, just whatever is comfortable. So Jess is relatively flexible. You know, especially for someone who's now working and
and then we stand up, we'll do a quad stretch. So that's um, this one. Um, if you need help. You can also look at like a leaf on the ground or something that's not going to move um, and that can really help with the balance. Okay, and switching sides. Yep, and our last stretch is going to be a cobra stretch, just to stretch out the abs. And you're pushing through your hands to just get the bit more of a stretch through your stomach. Okay, great. So that was Jess's first exercise session. Um, yeah, we'll go through the rest off camera. And um, yeah, that's it. So this was Samantha Awesome. This is part of my Vulture Challenge. Thanks. Bye.